I've been using TI-84 when solving statistical problems on my channel, but recently I realized that some of you have TI-83 or TI-83+, and uh, to use that, it's a little bit different. So let me explain how to do that. Uh, so first, you have to know this function norm CDF and understand what this does. So norm CDF, you have to provide two endpoints, a starting point and an endpoint uh, of a standard normal distribution. And uh, if you provide it, then it returns the area under the curve, which corresponds to the probability that a test statistic can belong to that area, uh, to, to that region. So uh, a standard usage is A to B, and that's all you need to know. Uh, however, uh, often what's at stake is that one side has to be negative infinity. So uh, for example, if you want to know uh, what's the p-value for a left tail test at negative 1.5, for example. Well, if, the left, if, if it's a left tail test, then you're really being asked for the area left of negative 1.5 as the z-value. And if you think about this one as an interval, it starts from negative infinity and ends at negative 1.5 and you have to evaluate norm CDF of this. And that's what throws off a lot of people. And uh, what you have to do is instead of putting a negative infinity, uh, since calculators don't give exact answers anyways, uh, just put in some big negative number and actually negative 1000 is good enough. So just put norm CDF negative 1000, negative 1 1.5, that will give you the area given uh, area left of negative 1.5. So let me show you how that's done. So, um, so you do a second distribution, click the normal CDF, and then you put negative 1000, comma, negative 1.5. Uh, oh, it's negative 15, sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, should have been Let's see. Oh, here's a nice thing to know. Uh, second entry, this, the second enter, will just retype everything you've done automatically. So that makes life easier. Okay, so negative 1.5, and that gives you negative uh, 0 0.0668. So uh, that will be the p-value uh, if you have this. Okay. Uh, and I guess uh, another thing that you would like to know is uh, what to do if you have a p-value of a two-tail test. So let me explain that as well. So suppose you have z equals to, say, 1.92, and they're asking for the what, what the p-value is. Uh, for a two-tail test, well, what that means is here's 1.92, and because it's a two-tail test, there's a negative 1.92, and uh, you need this area and this area combined as the p-value. So uh, you just have to add those two probabilities together, or you can just double this left side, but I want to show you how to handle the positive infinity as well. So let me just calculate each area and, and add them together. So uh, let me also do second entry, so I don't have to type all this again. But I'm going to put in negative 1.92, so negative 1.92, parenthesis, plus uh, then second distribution normal CDF and this time you need 1.92 until infinity and uh, infinity will be just positive 1000 okay. and that's good enough uh, so the p-value will be 0 0.05486 okay so that's that's how you do the p-value now when it comes to uh, the T CDF, when you use the T distribution, 
uh, you know, you use a t distribution when the population standard deviation is not known. So actually, that's uh, used more. And uh, if your sample size is uh, small, that uh, you really need to use a t distribution. Uh, although, uh, if the sample size is more than 30, then uh, even if you don't know the population standard deviation, you can still make do with the normal CDF. Anyways, uh, if you have to use the TCDF to find the p-value, uh, let's say you, you want to do the same thing, but now the sample size is, say, uh, only 20, n equals to 20, and uh, you have uh, the same t-value. T so, so the t value is 1.92 and you're trying to find the two tailed. So here, here is what we have. You have n equals to 20 and the t test statistic came out to be 1.92 and you're still trying to do two sides. Then what you do is you have to take uh, second distribution, tcdf, and again you use one, negative 1000, good enough, and then uh, you have to put uh, one po negative 1 1.92, but there's one more thing that you have to do, you have to provide the degrees of freedom. Now degrees of freedom for t distribution is 1 less than the sample size which is 20, so 20 minus 1 is 19. That's what you have to provide, okay? And uh, although you should also do plus TCDF of positive 1.92 to 1019, but uh, since I know that these two areas are the same, I can just multiply this by two, and that gives you the p-value in case of a t distribution.